Hi there, what's up guys? Hope everyone is doing well out there. Okay, in this tutorial you will need a few things first to get started. You will need Lightroom, Adobe Photoshop and Totally Rad Actions. Okay, so if you have all the, the things I mentioned just now, then let's get started. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is begin with opening up Lightroom. Right, so this is the picture that I've decided to edit this morning. So, uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to change a few settings here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring the image to be a bit cooler. So let's change the color temperature here. Right, once that's done, we're going to change the exposure level. And we're going to scroll, we're going to scroll down just a little bit further and we're going to change the clarity. Right. One thing you've got to be careful about clarity is that if you bring it a bit too high, then you're going to get the picture looking a bit dark. So I'd say leave it around 18 or so. Now I want you guys to scroll down and go to, let me see now, where's, yeah, go to this part here, which says HSL color black and white. So I want you to select on the blue color tab here or the blue slider, right? I want you guys to bring it down. Uh, uh, sorry, it's in luminance because the saturation. We're going to bring down the luminance for the blue color channel first and now click on the saturation part and bring up the saturation for the blue. Immediately, if I click on Y, you can already see that the picture is beginning to look good. Okay, next, I am actually going to give this picture a bit of a crop because I don't really like the pillow down here and it's looking a bit distracting. And also I want to straighten out the horizons here. Okay. All right, so I've clicked on crop here. So under crop, I will make the picture straighter and I'm going to crop out the pillow down there. Great. That's already looking really much better. Okay. I'm pretty happy with how things are looking at right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this picture over to Adobe Photoshop. So how I do that is I'm going to press command and I'll press E. Now I'm just going to wait for it to pop up in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, here we go. Okay, so in Adobe Photoshop, um, you will need uh, to use totally red actions in this uh, particular part that I'm going to do. So click up on the actions tab here and I want you to select the yin and yang filter, right? Once that's done, make sure it's selected on yang, which is for dodging and double check your brush tool here. And I want you to start brushing over the shoe, right? Just give it a brush, make it nice and bright. Give it another brush here and we could even go about and do the bed post as well, right? Give it a nice brush there. Keep on brushing. Bring out all the colors there. Well, not really colors. Bring out the whites in the shot. And while you're at it, you can even brighten up the, the flower pot here. And this one as well. And don't forget to brighten up the flowers as well. Yeah, but be careful. Don't brighten it too bright because you're going to make the petals. Uh, yeah, there you go. I've, I've done a bit of a mess there, but no problem. You can just rub it away with an eraser and start all over again. So I'm going to do it again. The one thing about editing that uh, I notice is that you really can't be too scared because it's really about experimenting and having a look and see what works best. So the keyword is 
just don't be afraid and be brave when you're editing a picture because you've always got the original picture anyway so there's no point for you to feel too 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 afraid to be crazy even sometimes with you know with testing out things because if you don't try you will never really know what the final outcome would be so this picture is starting to look really good and I'm quite happy with what I see so what I did just now was I pressed command F3 which was my own personal action but what that is I'm just gonna undo this it was actually flattened image so you can see down here on this tab here the layers have become three different separate layers right so what I actually did was um, I used an action uh, shortcut key in my keyboard um, but if you don't have that shortcut key you you can actually do it from this tab here or this um, this uh, this menu here click on layer and go all the way down to the second last option here which is flatten image and that will make the image flat and it'll be a single layered image all right so now what I want to do is I want to give the picture a final sharpness and we'll call it a wrap for this shot because I don't want to overwork the picture right now. I'm going to click on sharpen and unsharp mask right I'm going to give it about 2.2 pixels of sharpness and about 131% um, level of sharpness as well and I'm going to click OK right the picture's looking pretty good but I just 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 to try out I want to give this picture just an edge of a punch so I'm gonna click on oh snap in totally rad actions and just see what happens there you go picture immediately pops out even more I'm just gonna bring the opacity down a little bit more to about halfway or a bit less than halfway and uh, the picture's really looking a lot better now. Let's just have a quick look at the before and after shot. So this is the after and that's the before. Look at that. Look at how the, the, the white in the shoe really pops up. So important, I, mean, I can't emphasize this even more, that editing pictures are important if you really want to get a final outcome looking a lot better than off the camera. So don't feel shy to edit your pictures. It's important to do it. And especially if you're doing photography professionally, it's, it's, it's the only way to go if you really want to have your pictures looking professional. And we really hope that you enjoyed the tutorial this morning. And uh, please subscribe on our YouTube channel if you like what you see. And we'll bring up more tutorial videos. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.